So, if I understand correctly, it's your first time in Vancouver. What, what are your first impressions of the city? Oh, it is stunning. Absolutely beautiful. The landscape is like next level. I am obsessed. Our hotel room just has, it's overlooking the bay with the mountains and planes taking off from the water. It's, it's really, really breathtaking. I feel like a second visit is in order in the future? Absolutely. Yeah, I love it here and the city's so clean, everyone's so friendly. I think I think I'll definitely come back up, especially now that Rove is here too with the um, new showroom. We we love Rove and so I'll definitely be up for more of it. And Vancouver real estate, thoughts? Well, we saw a couple penthouses today. Yeah. Yeah, we never go to a city without checking out the real estate. So and what were your impressions of the, the, the apartments that you saw? Um, you know, the, the condo life here is so much different than in L.A. We have a lot of homes in L.A. and not a ton of condos. And it was really interesting to see the price difference. And Vancouver is not cheap. It is so not cheap. We were very shocked by the, by the price point. What, in terms of cost, what's, what's costing more? home in LA or a penthouse in Vancouver? Well, that depends on what area of LA. LA is very big. Yeah, so, um, but I think but condos, it, it's definitely Vancouver is more expensive. Yeah. And um, now, looking at your career trajectory, yeah. how did you go from, from being a, a realtor to now being in a position of leadership in one of the most prestigious brokerages in the world? Netflix. <laughs> ne but beyond that, yeah, um, what is it about you and your work ethic? Well, I think that's it. I have a very strong work ethic and a lot of people think that they can jump in and, and just kind of things fall in their lap and that's simply not the way it works. Um, I didn't just get thrown into this. I've, I've worked my way up from absolutely nothing and I've learned the value of a dollar, how to save, how to get through the ups and downs of real estate to be able to continue. I started in 2008 when, uh, like when the market crashed. So if I can make it then, I can make it at any point, even during this um, down cycle of, of the housing market in LA. And so, um, yeah, I think it's just persistence, hard work, dedication, and I would say a little luck. Jason tells me never ever say that because I put myself here, but yeah. but yeah, I, I just feel lucky to have been given this opportunity to be on this show and have this platform. Being frugal, being cheap. Okay. Yeah. Being, um, I think being cheap is where, um, you know, it's a negative. It affects other people and you're not thinking in, in the long term and your um, best interest. You're just being cheap and, and no matter, like you're just trying to save a penny and it's not really beneficial. Um, being frugal is you, you spend what, what you need to, what is good for your business and for you and not more. You know to save, and when to save and when not to. When to spend and, and when to save, yeah. So, um, yeah, I think that's, that portion, what was the second? And the second, the best piece of financial advice that you've been given. Oh, okay, Jason. Yeah. J Jason gave me this one. So he told me a long time ago that I need to hire an assistant. And he's like, you have to pay them very, very well. You have to get a very good one and you will, you will benefit from it. To me, I think I can do anything. And I'm like, why would I pay someone to do something I can do myself? And when it gets to a certain point, you can't do it all. You literally can't. And so you have to delegate. Uh, you have to um, really overpay like your assistants, at least in our position, you have to overpay them to make sure that they are going above and beyond and and that they are being your voice your like be like being you when you can't be there and and value their job where they're not just like eh, it's a job you have to pay that money to do it and it was the best advice i ever got because my my business has succeeded and grown tremendously since i've done that it was gut-wrenching to to start working out those um, payroll checks, but it, it was definitely the best advice I could have ever received.
And my last question, how do you balance being a mother, a daughter, a wife, and a business leader? I'm still trying to figure that one out. <laughs> um, you know, that one's tough. Um, I think we all do the best that we can, and there's only so many hours in a day. And um, all of my family understands and they see how hard I'm working and they they understand Romaine is just as hard of a worker if not harder than I am if that's even possible but he he does it he is like he's a monster yes. and so we we actually admire each other for our work ethic that's a, that's one of the uh, probably our number one top quality that we love about each other the most so I don't have any backlash from that. If we don't see each other for like a month, we're like, baby, I love you. What, what, whenever, whenever it's done. And, and we just admire that in each other. And so we're very lucky. We have a whole group of people and a whole group of, um, of friends and my husband that, that just works our butts off. And, and whenever we can go on vacation and just turn off our phones, we do. And we cherish that time. And we'll sleep when we die. <laughs> and then, okay, I promise this is the last question, yeah. and I only ask because we have such a, a young audience and it's yeah. top of mind. What's the best piece of dating advice you could give? Yeah, I hate dating. I don't know. Um, dating advice. Yeah. You're in love? I would say, okay, I would say don't get caught up in like... You have to look deeper. Like everyone has like this checklist of what they want. And and if someone, you got to feel it. Like if someone just, you're like, you're feeling something. And you're like, yeah, but I don't know. Like with her man, he was freaking my, almost my son's age. And I was like, oh my God, can I get a jail? Like I had no idea. But it's, he's like three years older than my son but I also had my son very young like like the technicalities don't really matter it's that bond and that like when you're just connect with someone you know what's right so be open-minded and and don't shut people down because it's not what you thought you were gonna be with like you don't know what you're gonna be with if what you've gone before hasn't worked well it hasn't worked so try something new <laughs> <laughs>